In this lesson, I'll show you three examples on how to identify redox reactions, oxidizing agents, and reducing agents. This is part one. The question reads, determine whether each reaction is an oxidation reduction reaction. If the reaction is an oxidation reduction, identify the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. Let's start with question A. We have two magnesium atoms plus oxygen yields two molecules of magnesium oxide. Let's start by writing out the oxidation states of each of these compounds. Starting with magnesium, this has an oxidation state of zero, and oxygen has an oxidation state also of zero because it's a diatomic molecule. Magnesium oxide, we'll start with oxygen, that has a charge of two minus, and since it's neutral, it should equal to zero. Therefore, magnesium has a charge of two plus. Now here's how to identify if something is an oxidation reduction reaction. Do the oxidation states change from the reactants to the products? Take a look at magnesium. It starts at zero and it becomes two plus. There is a loss of electrons here, therefore magnesium is being oxidized. So part of the requirement of an oxidation reduction reaction has been satisfied. There's an oxidation here. Take a look at oxygen. We start with zero here and then it ends up becoming minus two. Because oxygen has become more negative, that means it has gained electrons, therefore this has been reduced. Now the way you determine what the oxidizing agent and reducing agent is, is you look at the opposite molecule. The oxidizing agent here has to be oxygen, so I'll write down O2, and the reducing agent here has to be magnesium. You always choose the opposite. That's the answer to question A, let's move on to question B. In question B, we have the reaction HBr plus calcium hydroxide yields two molecules of water and calcium bromide. Let's see if this is an oxidation reduction reaction. Let's start by writing out the states. The state of Br is negative one and hydrogen is positive one. The state of this oxygen is two minus and the state of the hydrogen is one plus. Given that this is a neutral molecule, the calcium has to be two plus. The state of this oxygen is two minus and the hydrogen is one plus. The state of this bromine is one minus and the calcium is two plus. Notice how there's no change in oxidation states from the chemicals that are in the reactants versus those that are in the products. Notice, hydrogen is plus, the bromine is still one minus, the calciums are still two plus, and so on. Therefore, this is not an oxidation reduction reaction. Moving on to our last question, we have zinc plus positive ions of iron yields zinc ions and solid elemental iron. The oxidation state here is zero, here it's two plus because of that charge, two plus and zero. There's a change. This has lost electrons, it's become more positive. And because of that, the charge has been reduced. This one goes from two plus to zero. That means it's gained electrons. It's been oxidized. Therefore, the oxidizing agent here has to be zinc. That's our oxidizing agent, which I'll represent as OA. And the reducing agent has to be the opposite of what was reduced, which is iron. And there you have it. Three examples on how to identify redox reactions, their oxidizing agents, and reducing agents. Make sure to watch part two for some more examples.